Welcome everybody to 8970 Cynthia Street in West Hollywood. Today we are in the Norma Triangle, one of the best neighborhoods in Los Angeles. And we're looking at a home that is, was built in 1918. So much character, there is so much to see, and more of the details, I mean, wow, it's a Sunday, Sunday, April 25th, and we are, like I said, at 8970 Cynthia Street in West Hollywood. And let me tell you something, this property is hot. We've been on the market for about a week and it's been, there's so much attention to it because in real estate, there's only three things that matter. Location, location, location. And it doesn't get better than where we are right now. One block from Beverly Hills in the heart of West Hollywood. This area is called the Norma Triangle. So let's, let's explore as we always do. Let's start from the front. We are listed right now at 995 and there's been so much attention to this property. So, first thing first, curb appeal. It's so quiet, can you hear it? We're in the middle of the city. We are in the heart of West Hollywood, and I feel like I'm talking too loud, like, Shh, I gotta be, be quiet. All right, can you guys see the curb appeal? All right, we're gonna take a little look from the street, okay? because it's extremely important to get an idea of what the house looks like from the street. So here you have it, okay? So it's set back. You have a little uh, front yard with a little path. I love this detail. Um, this is Cynthia Street right here, okay? Just give you an idea of the neighborhood. That's Beverly Hills right there. So we are one block from Doheny um, and you have driveway welcome everybody thank you for joining me I see people are trickling in I see we have a full house this is great benvenuti a tutti we are on Cynthia Street 8970 Cynthia and look how cute let's go in shall we Okay, so the first thing you notice is that, honestly, uh, this home has been... Um, I was just thinking about it today, so I want to share it with you guys. Okay, you know what I was thinking about today? I was thinking about when this house was built in 1918, what was here, right? There was probably very little. <laughs> and to fact, to, this house is still standing, okay? Everything around it has changed. Everything is modern construction, but not this house. Some, at some point, so I was thinking that, you know, in the 60s, in the, in the 70s, people would come here and knock and they would say, I want to buy your house, can I buy your house? And that, that, the owners, they loved it, they hold, on, they hold on to it. So, first of all, so let's take a look a little bit of the front at the front yard just to give you guys an idea of the size. So you're you're set back from the street. You have the, this little storybook. It's got a storybook feel. So I would say that the curb appeal for this house it's thumbs up. And then you have this lovely porch. I mean, I just want to make sure you guys get an idea. You have this lovely porch. <sighs> this is a oasis in the middle of the city. Look at these trees. These are beautiful, mature, large trees. And let's, shall we go in? Are you guys ready? And here we go. I agree exactly, Daniela. Very good point. The porch is just beautiful. So then you walk in. The first thing you notice is 
The ceilings are not that high, but this can always be raised. You know, you have to let your imagination, I mean, like, it's, you could, you're working with something that has so much character and it has so much potential. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms. And if you are just joining us, we are at 8970 Cynthia Street in West Hollywood in the Norma Triangle. It's listed for 995. And this house is hot. Okay. All right. Now, let me show you the size of the living room. You know, it, we, are, we are a little bit under a thousand square feet and yet the space is very well distributed. So, this is a good size living room with a decorative fireplace. You know, just a lot of details. You have built-ins. And let's explore the bedrooms one by one, okay? The first thing we're gonna look is, as you walk in, I'll give you an idea, there's one bedroom here, there's one bedroom there, and then you have the kitchen right there, and another bedroom, which we're gonna see in a moment. But let's look at this first bedroom. So this isn't the largest bedroom, but honestly, it's kind of, it, it, I mean, if you can see me, it's got space, you know? So, I'm getting a lot of likes, I'm very glad. I'm very glad you're liking it. There is a closet. And you know what, the closet is pretty spacious. You know, for the size of the house, the closets are definitely uh, a good size. But let's, let, let's continue the tour. So between these two bedrooms, you have a Jack and Jill bathroom. I want you to, I want to show you guys a couple of details which are important. These are the floors. So the floors in the main area and the bedrooms, and then in the bathroom and the kitchen, You have these lovely tiles. Okay, let's see if we can see this bathroom. We are now in the Jack and Jill bathroom. I'm gonna try and set up a view. Bathrooms are never easy to show. Okay, can you see it? Let's see. Let's see if we can see it. Yeah, and there's a, you know, you have, there's light. So, tub. Shower, you don't even need to do the elbow test. And if you've been following me, and I know a lot of you have been following me, um, you, um, whenever we, we just check out a house, we always go get in the shower and do our elbow test and see. But here, you know, you got room, you don't have to worry about the elbow test. Um, but that's something to, um, that we like to do. And if you're just joining me, once again, we are at 8970. Cynthia, and before I forget, don't, don't forget that this recording is going to be available. This, once the stream is over, you'll have the recording available on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. So let's move on to the other bedroom. Okay. That communicates through the kitchen. And... Okay, so this... No, not the kitchen. This is the living room. So this is the other bedroom. So you see, you have this. And once again, here you have a closet. Okay. Let's continue our tour of 8970 Cynthia, listed for 995. And here we are, we go, we cross back into the living room. We're gonna take another look at the living room toward the front door. We haven't done this angle yet, so we're just gonna take a look. And, and you know what? There are mature trees around and everything, and, and the, the place feels cozy. And really the ultimate California bungalow. Exactly. Very good point, Donna. This place has a lot of character. I agree. So this is the front door. This is the view facing 
toward the front of the house. The house faces north, just to give you an idea. And I had to keep that door closed and locked because when I first got here and I opened up the door, there were like 10 people trying to get in. So we have to like, you know, we're doing it. And people, because some people, unfortunately, they're like, I'm here for the open house. And I'm like, okay, you gotta go to Facebook to see it. Okay, welcome to the kitchen of 8970. We had a, somehow my video stopped. I think my phone, uh, my phone got me, sent me a message says, you're too excited. Come down a little bit, okay? So here we are at the kitchen, in the kitchen. You can see there's built-in cabinets, very, very European style. This is something you would see in Italy, in France, very, very much. This is uh, built-in with glass. Um, for the kitchen, obviously, you know, the house has to distribute the, the space and we are, we are, you know, it's a cute little kitchen. It's a cute little kitchen. And, and right here you have the laundry area. So washer and dryer. Okay. And then let's see, we have this little, you have, the backyard right here, but here's a, the second bathroom is right here. It's not gonna be an easy one to show. They're never, they never are easy to show, but we're gonna try and show this bathroom. So both bathrooms have bathtubs, which is great if you have kids. I speak from experience, because don't try to give a kid a shower. It's very complicated. Uh, and then toilet, mirror, vanity over there. Um, it's actually clever because there is a window here um, above the sink so the vanity is right there um, the, the medicine cabinet I should say okay we have we've seen two bathrooms we've seen two bedrooms we've seen the kitchen we've seen the living room we're missing the third and final bedroom which is really a very very are you ready because this is one of the cutest area of the house in my opinion and here we are. Back of the house. And look at this. French doors. Did anybody say French doors? Because that's exactly what it is. French doors right there. Look at that. Bring the outside in. Be in your bedroom. This can be an office. This can be a bedroom. Work from home. I mean, how can you be more centrally located than the Norma Triangle of West Hollywood. You can make this into an office. This room can be an office. You can have your bedroom over there and you can work all day right here with this. Beautiful big trees. And we're gonna look at the backyard right now because that's, it's really a treat to take a look. Look at this, a deck. So we come out and here we are. Okay, so let's see if I could, I mean, look, you have this enormous tree, you have the house here. Let me see if we can, you come out of the French doors, you have this beautiful deck. Okay, let's see. All right, that's, I'm gonna try and show a little bit more the back big tree and we are in the middle of the city but I want to show you guys something it's so quiet <laughs> you know I don't know if it's always like that but it is right now on a Sunday um, and really the backyard, it's perfect for entertaining. You know, you have access then from the kitchen and then you have your bed, your, your the bedroom right there. And really, the house is just as cute from the back that it is from the front, you know?
Okay. Backyard. I'm gonna give you guys, show you guys this angle as well. So that's the garage. There is a one car garage. And if you're just joining me, 8970 Cynthia Street in West Hollywood in the Norma Triangle. Today we're looking at a wonderful new listing, um, which uh, just hit the market about a week ago and offers are due on Tuesday. This is uh, the market we have right now. Uh, let's continue our tour because I want to show you the driveway, which is actually very long. So take a look at this. You know one thing people are always saying like parking, West Hollywood, parking, parking. Look at this driveway. You could probably make your mortgage payments just by renting out the parking spaces on this driveway. <laughs> It easily fits four cars. Um, the garage is probably original, 1918. So don't expect it to be, don't expect to park your Range Rover in it, but it actually makes for great storage. You know, we're gonna open it up and take a look inside. How is everybody doing? Daniela, Donna, Donato, everybody good? All right. <laughs> Just FYI, if anybody has any question, please feel free to ask in the comments. Um, and I'll, if, even if you're not live, I mean, we're live now, but if you're not, if you're watching a recording. All right, let's take a look at the garage. So the garage, it makes for excellent storage. I mean, honestly, you know, I, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, the floor of the garage. Has cracks in it. No surprise. I mean, you have giant trees and, you know, like we said, 1918. Um, I see we have more people trickling in. Welcome, everybody. Once again, we are at 8970 Cynthia Street. We're actually in the garage now, uh, and uh, we are taking an adventurous tour around. But look at this backyard. I mean, this is your private backyard in the middle of the Norma Triangle. Isn't that like, just like picture perfect? I mean, look at that. Look at that beautiful, beautiful. I just love that. I'm going to close the garage since we opened it. By the way, since we have, uh, I know we have a certain a good group of followers from Italy. Uh, Felice 25 Aprile. Today is April 25th, which is the Italian equivalent of 4th of July. So there you have it. And once again, let's look at this backyard. I can't get over it. It's just so cute. Um, and you have a beautiful back porch. It feels, it's like a storybook house you know it's like a fairy tale home really I can certainly see how somebody can fall in love with it right away okay so let's go back inside and we'll go back through the house just to take a quick second look I want to make sure everybody gets a chance to see so this is the anybody say French doors okay French doors leading into the back bedroom close up and here we go. 
And then we're actually going to go in from another door instead of coming in from there. We're going to go in from this door. So there's two doors that access the back of the house. And here we are. Then we have the bathroom right here. Like we said, washer and dryer. Then you have the kitchen. Um, one bedroom over here, the back bedroom. Then you have the living room. And the, out of, from the living room, you can access two bedrooms, which is one bedroom right here. And one bedroom right here. And they are connected by a Jack and Jill bathroom. This house was built in 1918. And let me tell you something. It's got plenty of character. Every time somebody sees the house, they're like, oh my God, it's so cute. I love it. So, so that's good. Um, and I have been your host, Matthias. It's a thank you for joining me on this Sunday, April 25th. Uh, this is 8970 Cynthia. Let's just go back to the front because honestly, I know you all want to see it again. I know you all want to see the front porch. Look at that. It's a painting. This is not a house, it's a painting. The beautiful porch. Thank you everybody for joining me. It's been a pleasure to have you. It's been an exciting open house. Um, we are 8970 Cynthia. I know you guys are gonna get bored of listening to me saying this, but it's important. Offers are due this Tuesday, the 27th at noon. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, the place is available for showings. Uh, if you're an agent, feel free to contact me. If you're a buyer, you can reach out to us. Anybody from the Sanborn team is here to help you. So thank you, everybody. It's been a pleasure to have you. And I will see you at the next open house.